Hello, it is Nikki Crow, your connection here within the Red Hat training team. Want to go over a question that we get uh, quite a bit, and it's going to be um, of how do I renew my RHCSA certification? Um, so your RHCSA certification is going to be valid for three years from the date that you took and passed the exam. Um, so again, valid for three years. To renew um, your RHCSA, you actually have two choices. So I'm going to go to my all certifications page and I will link this in the comments. That way you guys have the link. Um, but you're going to have two options to renew your RHCSA. One, you can um, take the current version of the RHCSA exam and pass it. That would re renew you for another three years. Or you could actually up it and you could um, take and pass the current RHCE certification. Um, now with the RHCSA, um, I love the page that our marketing team has done with the RHCSA page. Um, this page, if you've not checked it out and you want to renew your RHCSA by attaining the current version, uh, this page, I believe you will find highly beneficial. It's going to give you a link um, to the courses. Now with the courses, um, kind of like we what we said in a earlier video, you do have two ways of taking it. Um, you more than likely, since you've already held your RHCSA, you are more likely going to be good to come right into this one, the rapid track course. Um, however, please note that if it's been several, several years, like maybe you initially passed the exam on version five and now we're on version eight, about to be version nine, um, you may want to take a skills assessment to make sure that you do qualify um, for this rapid track course. But if you have taken and passed it within the last two, three years, you're more likely going to be good coming straight into this rapid track course. Um, this page that marketing has created will also have a link to the current EX200 exam voucher page. Oh, this page has one of the things a lot of people don't know about. Um, if you come to any of our exam voucher pages and you go to the objectives tab, there's actually going to be a study guide right here for the exam. Now, if you are renewing your RHCSA, you know the Red Hat exams are 100% hands-on. Um, they are not true or false questions. They're not multiple, uh, you know, multiple choice. It's here's a task. Go complete this task in a timed environment. Um, the majority of you guys will also know that if you're not comfortable with at least 99% of this, um, these points and this information, you should not be taking the exam. Um, so just always keep that in mind. And then, like I said, um, make sure that you're taking advantage of these study guides that are on the objectives page. Okay, so the first way that we can renew um, our RHCSA exam um, or certification is to take the current RHCSA exam and to pass that. The other thing that you can do is to kind of level up um, your RHCSA and take and pass the RHCE exam. As of right now, which is Monday 17th of 2022, RHCE certification path is relatively straightforward. It's going to be one exam, which is EX294, and then one course that is kind of recommended for that exam, which will be RH. Two nine four. Your course can click this page. Um, our marketing team is actually working on updating this page so the hyperlinks are not quite as pretty <laughs> as the RHCSA page, um, but they are going to be here. So you do have the option of clicking these if if you'd like. Um, so that's pretty much how you will renew your RHCSA certification. If you have additional questions or concerns about that, you of course are always more than welcome to reach out. And I hope you guys are all having an amazing day.